Do you ever wonder what it takes to go through a motion as simple as walking? To be able to balance your entire body weight on two feet? Or that you never seem to forget how to bike even if you haven't done it in years? These seemingly mindless daily activities involve complex cognitive functions that scientists are still trying to unpack. Like driving. Knowing your way home requires place cells and grid cells that give rise to spatial navigation and memory. Why do you feel hungry all the time? Maybe your hypothalamus is out of whack. Actually, eating ramen can be pretty complicated. The same goes for studying. Your hippocampus activates when you learn information and retain knowledge. Scientists recently discovered a so-called god spot in the right parietal lobe that lights up when people pray or engage in spiritual behavior. I'm reading the words on the page thanks to the vision and language centers in my brain, namely the occipital lobe and Broca and Wernicke's areas. I can reflect introspectively on memories of past events also thanks to the hippocampus and language centers. Throwing a surprise party? Planning it requires executive functions in the frontal lobe, not to mention baking a cake requires some extremely fine motor skills. Emotions like surprise and happiness are mainly housed in your amygdala. And check out these tall skyscrapers. Are you afraid of heights? Or maybe needles? Well, don't worry because that means your amygdala is working. Have you ever donated blood? Your supramarginal gyrus is responsible for your ability to feel empathy and compassion towards people you've never even met. So far, we've only understood these behaviors to be uniquely human. But what if we could break these functions down step by step into algorithms that we can encode into machines? Take creativity, for example. Imagining abstractions of objects in 3D space onto a 2D screen or paper might seem simple. But can we teach a machine to create art and original designs? Can machines compose music or cry after listening to Adele? That's a question that researchers of artificial intelligence are trying to answer. But it's a question for another day.